Iran is from Mr. John Paul O'Leal on the subject of the question of the Clean Air Zones King. And to whom the question has been put, it's been put to jointly to Councillor Mark Hunter and Councillor Dean and the Green Greeness. Uh, I believe the question is present in the chamber. If you would like to step forward and ask the question, please. Good evening. Um, over recent weeks, we've um, been seeing a number of controversies in other council areas about uh, restrictions on people's movements, be that ultra low emission zone, low traffic neighbourhoods, 15 minute cities. Uh, whilst we've not seen anything such size stuff for us yet, um, we have seen a number of trials, uh, pilot schemes over recent months that do that do um, restrict people's movement, especially traffic movement down roads in certain neighbourhoods. Um, and we also see it on Melgate and stuff. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but, but probably the, the, the question has got to mirror okay. you know, so much of the question, it can't be. Right. So, okay. So, uh, so, so if after the moth pollen, that's true, that would be most great. With, with particular regards to the then after the moth pollen of the clean, clean air zone scheme, um, the worry is that Stockport Council might, might be introducing similar in the future, resurrecting that. Do we have any um, guarantees that this won't be the case? Can the Council assure us that there's been no concessions or deals whatsoever have been made, will be made, contractually to any corporation or other entity or body regarding driver data, personal data, or the public's rights to travel freely on, on roads? And with, just with, with regards, specific regards to the Clean Air Zone, um, it's still under review, supposedly. Can, can we just count through like, any resurrection of it and start removal of all this infrastructure, particularly the surveillance cam cameras? Okay, thank you. I'll let the leader of the council, Councillor Mark, come to you. I'll give you first, please. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr Mayor. Can I thank uh, Mr O'Neill for submitting the question? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to answer it in the terms that's laid out on the order paper, uh, I think, Mr Mayor. Um, first of all, to say I hope it's appreciated that it's not for me to speculate uh, on what other councils elsewhere in the country are doing, but I can say that from Stockport's uh, perspective, in answer to, to your direct question, I can assure you no such schemes are planned for Stockport, and that specifically no concessions or deals whatsoever have been made, or will we make a traction to any corporation or other entity or body regarding our driving data, personal data, or our rights to travel freely on public roads? Uh, the answer is a simple no. We haven't made any such deals. We're not planning to enter any such deals. And on the contrary, uh, you might be uh, interested to know that the last time this issue was discussed at the Greater Manchester Combined Authority, where all 10 districts, of course, are working together to try and improve their quality. We have pushed back on the government's view, which is that there has to be a central charging zone, and said that we can make progress on this issue without having any charging at all. So that's the position, certainly here in Stockport. We are not planning to resurrect the, the clean air zone here individually, and I have already asked the question of the Metro and Mayor Andy Burnham about when the signs and lines are coming down. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your question. Um, in the interest of brevity, I'm not going to repeat the points made by Councillor Hunter. Um, I will just say that I don't think we necessarily should be rolling out a clean air zone. Um, the levels of pollution in some parts of Greater Manchester are so severe and contribute to so many health problems um, that to the point where um, it actually could have moved to nearly 1,200 premature deaths in Greater Manchester every year. If these deaths were caused by road traffic accidents, um, we would surely be demanding some action, and I don't think that um, this should be right. any difference where health is concerned. Um, there is a lot of confusion over what the clean air zone is and what it is not. Um, and one thing that is not, was not intended to be was um, charging for private cars, bikes, and mopeds. And where it does affect businesses, there were there were support schemes in place to um, ensure that funding was available to upgrade those vehicles to make them compliant. Um, and then other funding means that uh, 100 new zero emission 
uh, buses will roll up when the first regulated bus services are introduced in Wigan and Bury uh, in September. And then a further 170 zero emission buses are due to run uh, in Stockport by 2024. Um, I would welcome this measure. Um, and um, I don't agree that this sort of infrastructure should be removed. Okay, now we move on to question two.